What's going on, Sim Racers? This is Larry at TJR Sim here, and this is just after Christmas of 2019. I hope you had a great Christmas this year, and uh, got some cool sim racing equipment from your uh, from your parents or your wife or husband or whoever friends. But uh, I, I wanted to give a quick update uh, between the Marion of my Next Level Racing V3 wig, wig rig uh, to my Simitech K2 here. Now originally. I had used this uh, one inch square tubing that I just picked up at the local hardware store and it's, it worked very well but you, as you can tell over time of making adjustments and stuff paint chips off and it just wasn't ever meant to be a permanent solution it was just a quick solution to get up and going and, and down the road so since then I came up with uh, had the idea I had some extra 80-20 laying around as you can see there 10 series that is and uh, that was a 48 inch and I just cut it in half and utilized it and so you can see that when you go to try to utilize uh, this you know it's you know 10, 10 millimeters wide it's not near as wide as what you need of course because you are marrying up use my dirt rally pin here you're marrying up you know your Symmetec K2 so we can get them both in the shot to your next level racing stand itself and um, you could, of course, drill out your your uh, Symmetech K2 rear seat stand in, in a certain configuration to uh, mount that into it. However, I didn't want to mess that one up. So this is a better solution for me. Uh, 10 series. You, you will see there I had to end up using five inner washers there. And that's a quarter inch, you know, uh, drill through holes. Those are the wide washers. I like using the wide washers because it gives me a little bit more surface area to clamp down to. And I used one on the outside as well. <clears throat> now, the bolts being used for this kit here is not much. You only need two of these. And you need, uh, let's see, four, six of the, let me get this out of here, six of these right here. Uh, which are quarter 20 as well, which worked for your 80-20 10 series tubing channel. <clears throat> and you can buy it as a kit on Amazon, and I'll throw the links down below for you. Uh, 15 bucks for this kit, and you're getting way more than you really need. But you do have the, the screws that you need, which these are a quarter 20 by three quarters of an inch long, which is actually just about right. Uh, and then, of course, you'll get the... Uh, uh, what they call the part number 3479 uh, for to fit into your channel. That's all you need there. Now, if you, your local hardware store has something at a, a lower quantity, by all means, pick that up. You will also need these right here, which are quarter 20 by one and seven eighths. I'll leave the link below. I didn't get, did, couldn't find these on Amazon, but I was able to buy these. I think as a 10 pack, yeah, 10 pack, and you only need four of these. Uh, but you do need one and three, uh, one and seven eighths rather. Uh, originally, I was measuring out to be one and three quarters. However, uh, there's a little bit of lip here on this channel that takes up a couple threads that you would need. Uh, otherwise, to uh, get these two to marry together when you're screwing it down nice and tight, as you can see right there. Um, so yeah, one and seven eighths is what you're going to need. Now, all you're going to do when you were if you remember when you're using this tube in here, uh, you had to actually remove the, the bolt completely from the unit and then make your adjustments up and forward, uh, backwards and stuff. So that, that becomes a pain. Well, that goes away when you start using the 10 series stuff because all you have to do, and I'll go ahead and point on this other side, those two bolts there, which you're going to utilize, those two pre-drilled holes that are already there, there's three there, as you can see, but you'll use the two inner ones. And... Uh, one and seven eighths bolt, throw it through, have your little tabs in the channel, screw it on down to that, and you're done. Uh, when you want to adjust this forward and backwards, you can just loosen them up a little bit and slide this unit forward or backwards, or this one, you know, forward or backwards, whatever you're going to do, and uh, tighten them down another, you know, quarter turn or third of a turn, and boom, you're done. So really quick to make adjustments. Really like that aspect of it as well, and it looks a lot more. Uh, clean it looks way cleaner now because you're using anodized you know obviously if you get the black stuff you get the black anodized you know it's it's prone to not chip off or anything like that so 
Uh, but yeah, that was it. That is all I did. Really quick, easy solution. Overview, 80-20, 10 series tubing, or channel rather, and uh, it's 10 millimeters, 48 inches long. And then get you some of the hardware that I pointed out, and you're done. So that's as simple as that. And that's so easy to mount up your next level racing uh, motion rig to your Simitek K2. Let me know in the comments uh, what you came up with when you did this combination or whatever combination that you're running right now. But that is what I am using, and uh, it's working perfect. Uh, under braking, using two bolts here, you get no scissor effect, no lifting off or anything under heavy braking. Currently, I'm using the V3 pedals, uh, Fanatic V3 pedals, although I have some other pedals coming up in review. So, anyway, we'll check you later on the track, and uh, I'm out of here. Thanks for watching.